Hello Intro to Ag students. I'm here. You thought I wasn't, but I actually am here today. And what our goal with this video is going to be is to try to explain to you what the, the um, poster should look like out in the lab. With the poster, your materials that you're going to have is the file cabinet over on the left hand side. There are markers. There are also crayons. There are also a little bit of glue and you have the paper that's on the table. You also have colored paper if you want to use it. So let's just dive into what it needs to look like. So we have finished up our experiment from all the way from our intro to our title, results down to conclusion. And what we want you to create then is this. This little item here has a title at the top, which we made a title. So you already have that on a Google form. You then will insert your intro over here, your literature review here, your materials and methods here, your table, your graph, and your conclusion. What this will separate is individuals that I need to talk to more, and as you can see in class, one of the things that we try to do is to get you to get better at things, and so I have to talk longer about what we do and don't understand. So if you prove to me that you can make an organized poster, then I don't have to talk much about it. Um, walking out there, there are some individuals that promptly took a piece of paper and then they slapped on some other pieces of paper onto it, and then I'm guessing they're going to do something. But the neater you prove off that you can do this, the um, better and less I will have to talk. So these sections, you already have them done on a Google form, and you've gotten comments back on what to do to them. What I would recommend is printing those and pasting them right onto your poster. The problem with that is that 14-year-old girls and 14-year-old boys don't think through what stuff looks like when it's put onto a poster. So now you got 20 seconds of me to tell you that if you use a 12 font and you put a 12 font over here in the intro, your poster is bigger and you're gonna have a whole bunch of white space and it's gonna look like a 14 year old boy did it. Or you can stop and say, I'm 14 years old, but darn it, I don't need to be stereotyped as a 14 year old. Instead, I'm gonna figure out that this font fits that better and I'm gonna fill up that space so it doesn't look like I just slapped on something. That would make me happy for those individuals, but it's hard because it's still, even with a video, it takes an application of the video. And you'll have today, tomorrow, and you'll finish up on Friday, and what I want is a poster that has a title, an intro, a lit review, materials, table, graph, and your conclusion. And remember, I'm grading your conclusions based on um, revamping them. And what I'm also going to be looking for is how well a job you do. And the better job you do, the less I have to reteach how to do a good job. So then it's, it's now kind of just put into your plate. Are you going to step up or are you going to try to figure out how to um, make you get taught more about it and show me that you need to be shown how to make something neat? Reviewing should be done. Good luck.